An update now to a story we first brought you last January. That's when an 11 year old Wisconsin boy was found dead on the other side of the country. The family is now learning the boy's father and stepmother may have had something to do with his death. A warning for viewers, the details of some of this may be hard to hear. Sean Gallagher has the update. The family of 11 year old Roman Lopez have had questions about his death over the last year. He was born here in Wisconsin, but his father secretly moved him to California. Thursday, the family here in Wisconsin found out the grim details of his last few days alive. It's been torture because we wanted answers. Nicole Shipley says the answers they wanted were never going to make their family feel whole again. She says her nephew, 11 year old Roman Lopez, was goofy and always made them laugh. It's why the grisly details of his death are so hard for them to understand. Roman's body was found in a storage bin in the basement of his father's Sacramento area home last January. Roman was found to be severely malnourished and dehydrated at the time of his death. We're devastated. We're still devastated. Like, what was his life like? Poor Roman. Nicole says Roman's father, Jordan Piper, had primary custody. Piper and his wife, Lindsay, now face charges of child abuse, poisoning, and torture. Police say Lindsay poisoned Roman's water. What is wrong with them that they would hurt a little boy, innocent little boy? There's so many things that are wrong with the situation and don't add up and don't make sense. Roman's mother, Shelly, talked to TMJ4 News last year when the news of his death came out. Nicole says her sister is not ready to talk about the latest news. She's obviously devastated and is taking it really, really hard. Um, like I said, you know, we're happy that they got arrested, but to hear the news of like what the charges were, were just unbelievable and we had no idea. Nicole says she and her sister will be going to California when the trial starts. In Milwaukee, Sean Gallagher, TMJ4 News.